All right, I'm on the other side of that marsh where I was walking, it was uh, down over that way, all over there. It's a little island or the mainland that comes out over here to the other side. Now, the timber just kind of cuts around over that way, but there's a little strip that heads right out here, as you can see right down this little, this little trail, this little clearing, and it gets really thick where all those trees are back there, as you can see. Um, I believe that to be a bedding. It's also a bend in the river where he has access either across the river and escape or back into the timber, depending if there's any danger. So um, I'm coming in from one direction, but from leading out of that, one of the first things I find on that probably, probably about 100 yards from where I wanna check, I got this nice big rub right here. Okay, so I'm starting to walk into that bedding area and I'm liking what I see already. It is super thick over here, which meets cattails to those trees out there. And from where I came in from, there was a lot of white oaks and a lot of acorns on the ground, which means they're dropping. I wouldn't be surprised if he's bedding here and coming out here to feed out in that timber. But as you can see, there's a faint trail. I'm seeing some big droppings, uh, buck droppings, and some good tracks. And I'm trying to work my way through here. Hopefully I find a good bed. All right, so I made it to that point and I'm pretty happy. I think I found um, my first big buck bed here in this area. Uh, I walked in down this transition line uh, off the woods, uh, the main timber. And as you come across, you can see, it gets really low and thick. I mean, only about uh, chest high and it's just gnarly brush in there. And the, the bed I found is right over here. You can see it's uh, worn out to the ground underneath this tree right here. Uh, one thing I haven't found was any rubs on any of these trees. I mean, he might be marking up all this little brush, but there's a whole bunch of little beds right off this point. And you can see that he's probably bedding with the wind coming over his back this way because behind him, nothing is getting through that. I can't even walk through that. And it's just about 50 yards of that thick brush until you get up to the timber up on the high end. And he's facing out this way where you can see any danger anywhere coming from any direction almost 180 degrees from right to left and he can bail out that way back from where I came back out this way and I'm sure he can make it through this brush if he needed to but this is a killer spot I like it um, I think I might have to look for some spot setting up, especially where I found that first rub out over there where he's coming out to, where those white oaks are. I think there's a few faint trails cutting across this I gotta check out. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. All right, so I found the first big track coming out of that bed the opposite way I came in. Very nice sized track. And as you can see, he came in from the opposite side of where you can kind of see the faint trail right up this way and that's where he was bedding those group of trees right off that point as you can see how it jets out right there so I think he's coming in or out one of these two directions and if that's the case depending on the one I can probably set up further in the timber back over there where those uh, mature group of white oaks were and then I'm thinking maybe somewhere right in one of these trees probably about 50 yards from his bed. I can come in quiet from over here with all this thick brush covering me, especially when it's uh, in October and November when it's a little green, and climb up one of these trees just over the brush and get a shot. And I'll at least be able to see him get up and uh, out of his bed. If he goes the other way, at least I'll know that he's there. So this looks like a potential setup spot right here. All right, so I found something interesting. Um, I'm still walking from that buck's bed, which now I'm probably about 150, 200 yards. Down this little road over here, it kind of curves around and then back up into the marsh where I just came from. And I'm walking here and I get to this little open area where on one of the spots on my map I have across here, I have marked out. It's almost like a little jet of iron with some of these um, trees here, but I can't cross. This is about a good six to eight feet deep. So I'm not gonna cross that now, but Originally, I wanted to check out this area, so I come here and just start looking around this general area. 
and I just find rub after rub after rub, nice big rubs, big old rubs, big trees, small trees, in literally about a 20 yard area. And from here, I'm gonna try to show you from where I started seeing them. First one's gonna be right on this tree right here. And that one's probably about waist high. Then I had another one right on this tree right here. Light scratches on that far tree over there, here, and almost every single one of these trees are rubbed. Whether they're lightly big, I'm gonna look over here and show you, and it's just, I don't know, I don't know if this is a converging area or a staging area, but as you can see, that one there, and every single one of these trees are marked. That one's been torn up. That one's straight through the bark. Another one over there, and just whole entire area. So, I don't know, I might put a trail camera over here. All right, so, right down there, in those group of little trees right here is where all those rubs were, all facing this way. What I did is I walked along the bank over here, not that much sign, pretty much everything dies off, it's very open. Uh, as I was walking, I started to think that maybe this is where they're coming out to feed and stuff, where they're not getting out to the very late. But um, instead of walking back along this way, I cut across right over here. It's like a little bit of a hill, nothing crazy. But as I'm doing it, I spooked up probably about three or four deer all running out this way. I think they were bedding all up in here in these little cedars. And uh, what that's making me think, at least, is that it's probably another uh, bedding area, maybe uh, doe bedding. And these bucks that were bedding out in that marsh are coming out over here and marking up these trees, possibly late at night. But like I said, I'm going to put a trail camera out there to see. So as you see, this is one of two or three scent wicks I've found in this general area. And this is where I had all those rubs, which in all these group of trees and cedars right here, going all the way out to where the bedding was. Had my tripod set up, I was gonna film myself setting up my trail camera, but probably don't wanna put it up here in this area because I don't want it to get stolen. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just head out now. I have those parts mocked up and come back, check that one camera over there, see if there's anything coming up that island and maybe get another camera up closer to that bedding area. Um, not sure if I would wanna do that, but I don't know when the next time I'm going to be out here. Next time I get out to go scouting, I'm probably not going to come back here. I'm going to want to try somewhere else. And my time is few in between, so. I might head back to that bedding area, set up a trail camera, probably up high along that transition line where he's coming out of, uh, off the timber looking into the marsh. Maybe I'll get a picture of him there, so.